to another New Brighton Capital Educational Series and what we're going through in this video is if you're with Independent Reserve and you've been requested to supply API keys uh, either for another integration or for uh, or specifically to New Brighton Capital to do the tax returns and for the accounting side of things this is how you do it. So once you actually log into Independent Reserve just up here on the top menu bar go into settings this page will pop up and what we're after here are the API keys. So just over here on the left, click API keys. And then over here on the right, we have this blue button for generate. So what we want to do is click generate. And this section here walks you through what type of access you would like the user of those API keys to have. So obviously full access gives full control uh, of your account. So that will enable the user of those keys to be able to buy crypto, sell crypto, and move money in and out of your account. Um, so just be aware of that. Admin access grants uh, the user any private API method except withdrawing the digital currency. So basically you can do all trading and move things around, but they can't actually take money out of the account. And the read-only access, which is what we want, basically only allows the user of those keys to be able to see the uh, the deposit and withdrawal history and your trade history and your current balances and that's what we're after we just want the read only side of things there so just enter your password there at the bottom click save and what this will do will produce two API keys so one is the public API key which is this top one here and the other one is the API secret now you need to copy both of those and provide both of those keys to um, to the person or the entity that you're sharing the information with so just make sure you need to copy both of these. And so once you've copied them, click close. It'll generate the key. And then here you've got the API key, which is the basically not the one that's not the secret. So the public API key will be represented here just as a reference to you to let you know that that key still exists. So you leave that there as long as you would like uh, the person that you've shared the API key to have access to the data. And uh, if you want to close things up or you don't want to share that data anymore, you can just move over here to come back to this page and click delete, enter your password in again, and then it'll be gone. And the person you shared those API keys with will no longer have the access that you granted them uh, before. So that's how you generate API keys on independent reserve. Uh, any questions, just let us know at uh, newbrightoncapital.com. And... Uh, Thanks for watching.